Glory to the highest he reigns. Glory to the highest he reigns. Good morning. Let's just praise the Lord God as we are coming on. Let's just praise God as we're coming on. Good morning. This is Lashana Janine Hearn, A Year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. Let's praise the Lord God for waking us up. I hope y'all got good night's rest. So today we are in Deuteronomy 33 and 34. And then Luke chapter 16 verses 17 through 36. So let's just praise God, praise God. Good morning. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, creator of heaven and earth, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just glorify you and we thank you, Lord God. We thank you that we have the opportunity to even just come to you in prayer, in conversation. We thank you for the opportunity that we have, that you have given us to even be able to stay plugged into you, Lord God, to just develop our relationship with you and deepen it. And I just pray for the requests and the petitions of the hearts of the people that are watching this video that comes back and watch the replay, all those that are connected to them, Lord God, to the body of Christ. I pray that you search everybody's heart, mind, and soul, and that you know what they need, you know what they're requesting, you know what they're petitioning, you know what they're asking of you, Lord God. And I just pray that it is according to your will and your purpose for their life. And I pray that you do give them the desires of their heart as they delight in you, Lord God. As they stay in the word every single day and they continue to develop their prayer life with you, Lord Jesus. And I just glorify you and thank you that you are a God of a promise keepers. That you keep promises, Lord. That you protect us and you provide for us. And that you just take care of us every single day. We thank you, we glorify you, and we pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the Spirit of Jesus Yahweh. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 So good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. And I am going to extend that invitation out to you once more. I've said it before. Um, but if you ever need a specific prayer request, you can inbox me or even put it, put it in the message um, in the comments below. Um, if you ever need a specific prayer request. If you ever do need someone to actually pray with you, like get on the phone or anything like that, I am available um, to pray with you. Um, and My number is 214-597-7085. You can text first. Text first because if I don't recognize your number, I'm not answering the phone. <laughs> But I am extending that invitation for prayer requests, any specific prayer requests, um, any specific needs um, that you would like somebody to pray with you, stand in agreement with you, and I, I'm there. Alright, so this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We are in Deuteronomy 33. And 34. And don't forget that I do read from the King's James Version. So if you are reading from a different version, hold on, I just did something to my computer. All right. 
Okay, so I read from the King James Version. Um, if you're reading from a different version, that's okay. Just know that the wordings will be different. All right, Deuteronomy 33. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand went a fiery law for them, fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people, all his saints are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet, every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, excuse me, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men, men be few. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou an help to him from his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let thy Thumium and thy Urim be with thy holy one, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah, who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments and Israel thy law, they shall put incense before thee, and whole burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him, and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him. Oh, excuse me. And the Lord shall cover him all the day long. And he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep that coucheth beneath, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the lasting hills. And for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwelt in the bush. Let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And they are the ten thousand of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in thy going out, and Iskar in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures hid in the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. He dwelleth as a lion, and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. And he provided the first part for himself, because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated. And he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord, and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessings of the Lord, 
Possess thou the west and the south. And of Asher he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jesh Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, a pe O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. Go ahead and share, tag, and invite someone to join us every morning at 5.30 of the readings of the Word of God. Um, we, are, we just read Deuteronomy 33, so we'll move on to Deuteronomy 34. All right, Deuteronomy 34. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebu, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah unto the utmost sea. And the south in the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zoar. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but, excuse me, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his soap tray unto this day. And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land, and in all that mighty hand and all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. Wow, we're finished with Deuteronomy, you all. I was thinking there was more. Well, that was it. Deuteronomy. We're done with Deuteronomy. We are getting through the words of God really quickly. This is awesome. All right, so this is a year in the Bible. I was... I was looking for more like I was getting all revved up <laughs> you know how you, you get into a climax and you just what more uh, you know that was starting to get really exciting so <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to move on to Luke 6, verses 17 through 36. So good morning for you all who are just coming on. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. And we just read Deuteronomy 33 and 34. Don't forget to invite, share, and tag. We want your whole circle, everybody that's connected to you, in your surroundings, your neighbors, everybody, to get into the words of God every day. So invite them, let them know that we come on every morning at 530 and we read the words of God. Now, this is just the reading, so I encourage you and inspire you and motivate you to go back and actually study, meditate, and allow God to increase your knowledge, understanding, and wisdom concerning the words of God. Amen. All right, so we're going to start with Luke 6, verses 17 through 36. Okay, 17. And he came down with them and stood in the plain in the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Ew, my fingers. Okay. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there were virtue out of him, and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, Love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee. Excuse me. I'm going to read that again. Give to every man that asketh of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners, to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good and lend hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. 
Be ye therefore merciful as your Father also is merciful. Amen. I know that living the life of Christ, living the way, the example of Christ, it can be it can be difficult sometimes. It can be really, really hard. But as long as we stay in the word, as long as we allow God to live within your heart, your mind and your soul, like completely let him take over. And he will give you the ability to be merciful. He will be he will give you the ability to forgive. He'll give you the ability to be able to know who your enemies are and still feed them and clothe them and love on them. He'll give you that ability. He did it. He came as a man and he did it. They spat on him. They did all kinds of things to him. They they rejected him. They did not like him. And yet he showed them tremendous amount of love. No matter what. So allow him to consume you. Allow him to transform you. Allow him to give you the mind of Christ. And he'll give you the strength and the equipment and the ability to be able to follow after his example. Because he said the things that he that the he told the disciples the things that he they see him do and say they will do greater works. They will do greater works. And I want to be pleasing to the Lord. I want to fulfill ministry. I want to be able to carry on his legacy, not mine. I want to be able to continue to carry on Jesus' legacy, meaning do the work, be about my Father's work, go out there, spread the gospel, and love on those, love on the strangers, love on the ones that hate me. You know, a, a while, a long time ago, I, I believe I was still in my 20s, and he told me, he said, LaShonda, you don't have friends. He said, but you are their friend. He told me. I heard him as clear as day. He said, I am a friend to the people. But he prepared my heart and he prepared my mind and my soul to know that they will not be a friend to me. He, he prepared me, let me know. He said, you don't have friends, but you are their friend. And he told me he's going to use me as an example on how to be for the people. How to be a friend to the people and not expect that friendship in return. And he he's kept to his promise. I mean, I could sit amongst people and even know that they don't even like me. And it won't bother me one bit. <laughs> like it really doesn't. It don't bother me one bit. I've learned to love my enemies. I've learned to love those who despitefully use me. I've learned to go out there and love on the stranger. And, 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 and according to the word, he, he will complete you. He will do it. I am a witness. I am a witness and a walking testimony. That's why I can just love on people. I can love on people because he did. He consumes me. He fills me. And he's been transforming me. And he's not done with me yet. Therefore, he's not done with you yet. If you are on this live video 
reading the words of God every single day. You are alive in the land of the living. That means he's not done with you yet. He's still transforming you. He's still building you. He's still molding you. So don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. Just continue, continue, continue. And know that I am here for you as well. He placed me on this planet, in this world, to be here for you. So every morning we are here at 5.30. Every morning. And it is exciting. It's awesome. You should be experiencing a great change with inside yourself. You should be starting to see things a little bit different and, and, and start hearing things that you didn't hear before. Your language should be changing. You, you, you should begin to start speaking different. Amen? So, let's be about our Father's work. Let's be about our Father's work. And so I want to invite, and you invite, those of you that have been staying in the Word, those of you that believe, invite anyone that you come across that has not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Good morning. Be about your Father's work. And so on this video right now, we want to invite anybody who happens to be a non-believer. And you want to believe in this Jesus that we talk about. You want to believe in this Lord that is performing miracles in our lives every single day. That's keeping this smile on this face every single day. I want to invite you to accept him in, as your Lord and Savior. All you have to do is just open up your heart, open up your mind and your soul, and pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins. I believe in your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask that you come and consume me, come into my heart, come into my mind, come into my soul, and be my Lord, be my God. I believe in the miracles that the Bible speak of. I believe that he was born from a Virgin Mary. I believe that he came, he died, and he rose again. And that he sent the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the Teacher, to consume me, to live within me. So forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my transgressions. Forgive me of my iniquity. And I pray that you accept me into your family and to the love that you have for me. And I pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the Spirit of Jesus, Yahweh. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you are an unbeliever, you are no longer an unbeliever and you just prayed that prayer, you are a believer now. Welcome to the family. The heavens are just celebrating but it doesn't stop there so I want to encourage you you must go and confess this new found freedom you must confess this to someone you must go out according to Romans 10 10 Romans 10 10 says you must confess with your mouth the accepting of Jesus Christ he is your Lord and Savior now, so you must show that you are not ashamed. And then it doesn't stop there. And I'm giving you some reference, reference scriptures to go by. Because I'm not just going to leave you hanging at the prayer. Because it, it doesn't just stop at the prayer. So confess with your mouth that you just accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then in John chapter John John chapter 3 verse 5 it says unless a man be born of water and spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven so you must find a church house a church home where you can get baptized in water 
And then you will be baptized by the Holy Spirit. And But your journey has begun just now. Right now, you are a newborn babe in Christ. You are a new creature in Christ. So those are some instructions for you. If you are a newborn babe, you just you just accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You just prayed that prayer. These are these are your instructions. Go confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and then go find you a church home and get baptized by water, and then the Holy Spirit will baptize you. And so the refer the reference scriptures for those is Romans ten ten. And then John 3, 5. And you seasoned Christians, use those reference scriptures. Romans 10, 10, John 3, 5. So when you are ministering to the people, when you are ministering to friends and family, and you come in across people who say they don't believe, and they want to believe in this God that you talk about, use those reference scriptures after you pray with them, Go to Romans 10.10 10 and John 3.5 because the salvation does not just stop at the prayer. Okay? So those are instructions for you, the ones who are in the Word, who's been in the Word, and who's who's been saved for a year and two years and three years. So just invite, tag, and share, and invite, tag, and share, and, and get your whole circle coming on every morning to not only spend time with the Lord, but grow in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It is amazing. You don't want to miss this because you don't want to miss what God is doing. You don't want to miss the mark. So... I love you all. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. If you have shared, if you've invited, I thank you so much for that. Um, because you're spreading the gospel. You're spreading the gospel even as you share this video. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And so I'm going to let you go on about your day. Don't forget, go back and study the word, meditate on it, and spend even more time with the Lord. And you all have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I'll see you 530 in the morning.